Hi there! Have you ever wondered how the likes of FedEx and DHL do their blazing fast deliveries? In this video, we'll tell you how we created an efficient in-house solution to this last mile delivery problem. Let's jump right into it. Now, before the specifics, why solve this problem anyway? The answer is clear. E-commerce in Singapore is growing at an incredible pace, putting pressure on postal companies and the delivery men to get parcels to customers quickly and reliably. And so it's essential that these companies can find a way to minimize the traveling distance of their delivery men while ensuring each delivery man is given an equal number of parcels to deliver. For fairness, this problem is actually not new. In the field of operations research, it's called the constrained vehicle routing problem. Notably, Google has a great open source solver for it. Nonetheless, we wanted to see how well we could do on our own, from scratch. The solution we created has two major parts. Clustering to allocate deliveries to delivery men, and routing to tell delivery men how to get around quickly. It turns out our approach works really well. But before we can show you the results, let's get a better understanding of our whole workflow. First, we handpicked four diverse data sets of deliveries. Each of them is different. This has an S-shaped distribution. This one is sparse and elliptical. This is dense. And the last one is spread out all over Singapore. These data sets are used to create a difficult and holistic test of how efficient our system is. The first thing we do after that is clustering. Remember, the objective of our clustering is to create equally sized and compact clusters of deliveries. To achieve this, we modified a popular clustering algorithm called k-means. Our algorithm is so good that it actually outperforms a competing algorithm by a professional research group. After we get our clusters, we assign them to nearby delivery men using the Hungarian matching algorithm. This finds the closest cluster for each delivery man given the relative positions of all delivery men and the clusters. The colored diamonds you see here are the delivery men assigned to the same colored cluster. As you can see, both the clustering and matching algorithms work quite well. All right, we've got great clusters now, but we still need to find quick paths through them for the delivery men. We've combined the best parts of two algorithms for this purpose. Let's see how. Okay, so the first thing you're seeing here is the first attempt at a path through the cluster using the ant colony optimization technique. It's fast, but it leaves something to be desired. After that, we mark the segments of the path that can be improved and we feed these segments into a slower but more powerful genetic algorithm, which ultimately creates a zippy path through the delivery man's cluster. Now you understand our whole system, so how does it compare to alternatives? Compared to simple models available online, our paths are less than half the distance on average. That's huge in terms of cost savings. And in terms of Google Solver, we still stack up well. Our system frequently does as well or even better than Google's, but is on average 15% worse. Not bad for a five-man team. Well, thanks for listening, and if you'd like to know more about our project, use a QR code to look at our technical poster.